Good day and welcome to your favorite sport program on TV Plus Sport. As usual, today will be an interesting moment on the show as we take you to trending um, sports um, stories um, across the globe. We all know that um, the Super Falcon started uh, on a very good note, but that will not be our first um, story today. We'll be going to our first story as we talk to um, two young lads. It has to do with speed cubing and mental development. And um, joining me to talk about speed cubing are two young men. Um, that's um, Oreolua Atobatelia and Eton Uguebu. It's good to have you on the show. Thank you, sir. Uh, let, let me start uh, with um, Etan. Um, Etan, um, it's good to have you on the show. I'm sure that um, you had a wonderful event um, yesterday. Yes, sir. Okay, and um, um, Atobatele, um, you also had a very interesting moment yesterday at um, the Speed Cuban event that uh, we had um, over 30 Speed Cubers um, in Lagos come together. Uh, let me start my first question with you. Um, what can you say about um, the event um, yesterday when you saw young boys like you, um, about 30, more than 30 in numbers, trying to get um, the best of um, the event? So tell us a bit about um, how you felt yesterday. Yes, okay. I was quite happy when I saw quite a lot of people there. Very happy. Because speed cubing is not a very popular sport in Nigeria. So I, I hope that I, I can continue. I mean, the whole world is listening uh, to you. Uh, so tell us I what. Um, when I saw so many people, people from different schools, because Cuban is not a really popular sport in Nigeria. Yeah. Um, so when, when young people are coming into the sports, when many people are coming to sports, it's quite happy. I'm quite happy about that. Do, do you feel the same thing, Ita? Do you feel the same thing? Um, uh, Tobatala says it's happy about the gathering of young people across um, Lagos. Do, do, do you feel the same thing? What's your own feelings when you saw different schools, different people coming together? Tell us about your own feeling, talking about Ita. I felt very happy to see people like me competing together yesterday. So if there's any... If there's, sorry, if there's any lesson you need to learn from, from, from that, um, what lessons are you to learn from the gathering of people coming together? I learned that we can all come together to hold a speed cubing event that can be... That can be... Uh, I didn't get to that. You said you, we all learn that we can come together to do a cube um, event. So what, 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 what are the lessons you learned from the event? Because I'm sure you're, you're part of those that won um, um, medals yesterday. So how, how was the old feeling about? I learned how to control my nerves under pressure. Okay. And I learned communication skills with others. Okay, still on you, do, is, is this your first ever sport? Um, uh, can, can we say speed cubing um, is your first um, ever sport or you've also participated in other sports um, that you, or you have a preferred um, sport than speed cubing? Um, tell us a bit about your first love sport, whether it's speed, speed cubing or, or, or not. My, I also play football. I really like playing it with my friends. So how did you come across speed cubing? A friend at school brought a Rubik's Cube to school and then he asked around whether anyone could solve it. So we all came together to try and solve it, but we couldn't. So we went online to research about it. And then I learned how to solve it online. Okay, um, Atobatele, let, let me ask the question to Atobatele. Um, how, how did you come across speed cubing, um, Atobatele? Yes. Um when I was when I was in GS1. Okay. I was in a school called Deep Alive. Okay. Speed cubing, not really speed cubing was a very popular sport today, second to football. So when I before I left the school, I learned a few steps. Then during COVID, COVID break, COVID lockdown, my dad came back home and brought a rubbish cube. And asked if we could solve it. We said no. So he told us that he would buy one for us. A few days later I bought both of both for me and my my brother and my sister we all tried to learn but both of them gave up 
but I pushed push through and I learned how to solve it. So who has encouraged you to, to, to keep fighting, to keep moving? Because, you know, in the next future, speed cubing, um, um, or cubing like some people will call it, is going to be one of the fastest sports, um, growing sports um, across the globe. But who has encouraged you to, to keep on practicing on cubing? I would say that was my, those are my parents. So they were initial uh, initial supporter. Was there any time um, there was uh, any time somebody you, you got a discouragement from from participating in the sport? No, I, I don't think so. Okay, uh, and um, it's a it's yeah, uh, it's yeah. a different story for for you and um, Atobatele. But do you have any resistance from your parents? Did any of them say no? Stop doing this. It's taking your time. Or where did you get your support to really? and participate in this um, event and how did you keep um, practicing? Who was the greatest um, support and inspiration on this? My greatest support were my friends. Okay. And they encouraged me to keep getting faster and faster. So you, you, you won medals yesterday. C can you tell us um, about the medals and what um, you hope um, to continue doing with, um, with this sport? I won two gold medals. One was in two by two and the other was in four by four. And the medals encouraged me to keep competing and to get better and better. Uh, and um, were well, you the one that had the national record? Because we know there are also national records um, yesterday. Uh, do you think you take speed cubing to the next level? Do you think you just continue practicing? Or what's your future plan about, about the sport? I can see the sport becoming really popular and it can become a career because I could be a coach and or you could be a coach. That's interesting to note. Um, are you discouraged that um, a lot of people don't participate in this sport? Uh, because we know every other sport, every sport has a beginning. But um, are you discouraged that oh, everybody don't know about this sport? They don't talk about it on TV except we talk about TTA or some other places, um, are you discouraged about the fact that it's not everybody that is involved? No, I'm not discouraged. And I can see it becoming very popular in the near future. And um, you, you, see it, um, you see yourself um, as a coach in that? Yes, sir. So let, let me go to Atobatele. Atobatele, we obviously have um, the same question. Um, Atobatele, what was the future like? How discouraged do you, are you discouraged when you see a lot of people don't participate um, in um, in speed cubing? Uh, how do you keep practicing, or are you just um, self motivated, or this motivation from your parents? So, so tell us about um, how you see a lot of people not participating in the sport you love so well. It's not that bad because things start from somewhere. It may be small now, but in the near future, more people will participate in competition. More people will try start start learning how to solve the risk field. Um, okay. Uh, is Aitan um, said that um, he wants to be a coach or he wants to be involved in the picture. Do you do you have the same dream of um of still continue participating because you know there are some sports like speed cubing and chess they give us um, that mental development we have. Um, tell us the benefits you've experienced so far um, in, in being a member of um, a speed cuba? So I've been able to um, meet a lot of friends. That was one of the benefits that um, has impacted me. I've been able to meet a lot of friends. I think that's mostly it. Or maybe I'll be able to compete with other people to see who is faster. I don't think there's more to it than that. Okay. And to you, Aita, you, you said... Um, that um, you get a lot of mental development on that eight uh, yeah. what, what what's your own benefit um, before because I know I spoke with you and you said there's a lot of um, mental development, your coordination, the brain's coordinations, you get um, more um, encouragement in, in, in participating in this. So tell us how you feel the benefits you get from um, being a Cuba. It really helped my concentration skills and my hand-eye coordination. So, 
So uh, how do you, uh, what effect does that have on your studies um, since you're still a student? Does that um, eye coordination and um, co focus, does it really affect um, or develop the way you, um, your, your academics? It does. It helps me concentrate a lot when I'm studying. Okay. What's the combination on, on both sides? Uh, and I'll ask you, academics and being a sport person, I may use that word, a speed cuba, um, does your school affect um, your studies? Does it affect you being part of this? Does, does it really affect you or does the way you manage um, the two sides? Uh, how do you go about being a student and um, also participating in speed cubing? There is a way I manage it. So, so, so tell I us. Take, I make a timetable for. Okay. I don't cube much when there are tests or exams, but I can cube much during the week. And you've been able to, to, to balance that. Has there any time come that comes when you need to? Um, want to practice and you also want to read your books. Which one takes some um, priority? My books. Your books, okay. Uh, uh, Chabatele, this also applies to you. W what comes in between? Has there been, how do you balance being a speed cuba and also getting the best from your studies? How, how do you go about it? Um, I'm mostly with my books 60% of the time, then 40% of the time. I can spend on cubing. If I have not read my books, I can't go to cubing, go to my cube, my room or stone. So I take more priority in my books than in cubing. Okay, interesting. And you are the only one that really practice more perfectly. Uh, as your sister has encouraged you or discouraged you, because you, you said we all, they all started together, but you are the only one that keep um, doing this. So uh, are, are there always a source of discouragement since they don't do the same thing you do? Or are there a source of encouragement um, since you probably be the only one, and perhaps with the support of your parents, uh, has there been any time your sisters that don't practice this sport encourage you or discourage you? I would say she has encouraged me or discouraged me. I think she's neutral. She doesn't, she's not too into speaking, but she's not against it. So your playing time, um, what, what did you do in your playing time? Do you either play or, or you practice um, speed cubing? Practice speaking with most of the time. And I'm free. Also, my usual time, I'm, I'm speaking. Okay. Um, we, we go on this report. Um, you have to hold on. You are an eater. Um, let, let's allow our viewers know what uh, went on um, yesterday at the 2023 um, Bright Sun um, Speed Cubing Competition that was held yesterday. In this report, um, there's a lab elaborate um, talk on the development of um, and the benefits of um, speed cubing. Enjoy this. It was an exciting moment at the 2023 Speed Curry Contest in Lagos as over 30 participants across the state gathered to participate in one of Nigeria's fastest growing sports, Speed Curbing. Parents and contestants shared their experience on how they came across the sport. A parent, Mrs. Kemi Ishola, narrated the benefit of Speed Curbing to her son. Children, like two children, uh, the girl is nine, the boy is eleven, and they picked. I think they picked the interest of speed cubing, like maybe last year or so. And I think that's really helped them. It helps them to memorize things because you have to memorize algorithms, you have to memorize movements, memorize both possibilities and all of that. So that's helped them with memory. That's helped them with um, figuring things out. And then, you know, speed cubing also has to do with time. So they have to figure it out in a short time. You have to memorize and make sure you bring all to the table when it's time to solve and come out with a good timing. Adria Jabriel Wunti, whose son, Abdul Samad, is participating in his first ever cubing competition, also noted on the benefits of the sport. Yes, it's important to give them the the ability to solve problems, to sharpen their minds, to put their reflexes, and to give them improve, improve their patience. Ato Batele or Reo Lua, who is one of the new national record holders in 3x3, narrated how he came across the sport. I was in the chair, 
between 20 and other COVID time. So yeah. before I before I went, someone taught me a few steps when I went back home for COVID, COVID lockdown. My dad, when we came back home from work, he had a rope skin in his hand. He asked us, he asked, we had, I have two siblings, brothers. He asked all of us. Kazumo Perez, a participant, believes the brain is the greatest beneficiary of the sport. You get more memory coordination, you get more focused on what you are doing, your brain, the brain enhancement to be more. For Tosin Banire, data coordinator of the event, believes the future of sports is bright, but there is a need to create more awareness for the game to get to the next level. There's more awareness. It's, it has the probability of the capacity. But of course, it's not something that is that hard. It's matching colors together. Once you know the technique, but the technique and already for the step that you take to solve and get colors together. So you can do it while casual. It's not something like football or basketball that you need certain conditions to all you just need is a cube. Or you need a cube. So with uh, more popularity and people knowing that the events like this exist, it has a capacity to take Trophies and prizes were given to participants. It was an exciting moment at the 2023 Speed Cup. Interesting moment, interesting moment, and I'm sure that um, we'll be part of those um, that have been promoting speed cubing and um, the benefits, especially meta development. I still have um, Atobatale Oyolua and Iita um, Uguebu, um, who are still waiting for us as um, we round up this segment. Um, Iita, um, your last question before I, I let you go, you and um, Oyolua. What, what, what do you think the future holds for these sports? Um, um, okay, I think I have... Um, let, me, let me start with... Um, um, about, uh, about, uh, 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 Tobatele, I beg your pardon. Um, t tell us what do you think the future um, has for, for speed cubing. Are you encouraged to keep moving on? Yes, I think the future will be bright. I think more people will want to learn how to solve the cube and want to compete. I think that the speed cubing community will grow in the near future. So, um, that's my take on it. Okay. Um, Eita, um, Ugwebu, what, what's your take on the future of speed cubing in Nigeria? I hope we still have um, Eita still with us. My, it will become a more spectator friendly event okay. and sports to watch. So, that's what, my take. Okay, thank you very much. And um, if you are going to encourage anybody to be part of this sport, what are you going to tell them? I mean, a lot of people might be scared. They might not want to be involved. So what are you going to tell them if you want them to be part of the sport? I'm going to tell them it's really fun and it's a nice feeling to be able to solve a Rubik's Cube. Okay. That's, um, thank you very much, um, Eitan Uguibu, for being part of the show. As I focus on Atobatele on the last question, uh, um, Atobatele, tell us, um, how are you going to encourage other persons from being part of the show? Atobatele. I didn't hear the question very well. It's kind of interesting. Okay. Now, as we round up the show, it's been a wonderful time with you and Eita. Um, tell us how you intend um, to encourage others to be part of um, speed cubing. I can, I can help to teach people how to solve the queue and encourage my friends who know how to solve it to compete in competitions. Yeah, thank you very much also. Thank you for your time. Um, Eitan, thank you very much for your time. Atoba Tele Oriel Lua, thank you very much for your time. We'll go on this quick break. When we we'll come back, we'll be going straight um, to the Women's um, World Cup that started some days ago. And our concentration will be on Team Nigeria against um, Canada.